What do you think of a gazoo punk band? Oh, I think it will do what, what? very, very well. Four punks with gazoos no, jumping around? Oh, absolutely. now you're talking. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, ticket for one, please. One ticket. For me, yeah, yeah, ticket. Five less. Eh? Five less. Oh, thank you. We arrived at the ancient theatre of Philopolis. Named after me, of course. Check out the beauty. Okay, a beautiful day in Plovdiv. And I see there's a band down there, uh, army band or something, so let's go check it out then. Okay, so I'm on my way to a music shop and um, got a selection of musical instruments and uh, let's go and have a look around, check it out, see what happens. Hello, how are you? Yes. Hello. Are you open? Yes. Are you? Yes. I am keep the door closed because it's like pretty crispy out there. How are you? Good, good, good. I'm just in time to help you clean the shelves. <laughs> That's amazing! This I've never, never seen such a small camera! I know! <laughs> so my name is Varenia and this is Varenia? So I'm the owner of the new Escadar Voloka shop that opened just three months ago and it's been like complete, complete magic and... Oh. And you started, sorry, how long? Six months? No, three months ago! Three months three ago? Three months ago and from day one, like people are really, really excited to, yeah, 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 yeah. to have a specialized music store that sells three months three months and, and it's going very well and this is a great i mean look at that look at the instruments you have so we kind of gradually adding more and more instruments yeah. to our collection but one thing has made it very clear and has become very clear to all the visitors at the shop uh, is that by searching an instrument is being crafted mm. in any given country it really helps us to part of our heart to travel to that place exactly and we realize we're all citizens of one big world family. Exactly. And, you know, music makes it that that little bit easier. Well, I'm so glad that I found your <laughs> shop and I came to see you. So, because, and you play, what do you play? What is this? Um, I see you play. So I played a harmonium that I talked to with. Well, it's right it's there. not an it's what? a bit of an unusual. It's not a problem. Uh, what is it called? Harmonium. And so it's an Indian instrument that reminds a bit like uh, very similar to an accordion. 
And this is, a what is this one here? So this one that we're looking at is a Chinese string instrument. Yeah. And it's a t traditional Chinese, Chinese inst string instrument. Chinese string instrument, yeah. instrument called It's Wah. beautiful, huh? And it's four strings and it's like a mini double bass. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and this one oh, is a... Oh, in the corner we have a, this one another here? Chinese yeah. instrument called, okay. called Guzheng. So, so those two... It's called a Guzheng. Guzheng. So whenever no, we... Guzheng. Guzheng. <laughs> French. Guzheng. <laughs> no. Sounds a little bit French. Okay. So we play down the bottom set of strings. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And the girl I met from Ukraine playing the bandure in Varna. There you go. She's six years playing and she was fantastic. Yeah. And I love the headstock on this. Um, so that's it. Um, so we're moving on. We're still in Asia. And oh, that's still in Asia, yeah. Uh, this is a traditional bodhi instrument from Mongolia. Uh -huh. so, uh, so yeah, we typed in traditional Mongolian instruments and more core with a view with the first thing we see. And two strings. And that's two even two one string too many for me. Are made of uh, horse tail. Oh, it's kind of. It's got a kind of that sitar sound, hasn't it? Yeah, but you will have the sitar playing a front main melody and the tempura just adds a beautiful collection of overtones just to wow. add more flavor to the melody. So, and this is a traditional setting, of course, if we have, you know, different melody, you know, yeah. we can uh, change. And so this our whole area is this area. This is, area. Asian. <laughs> this is the wow, Asian area. <laughs> okay, no, no, that's great. Uh, and then some people are like, because they're not familiar with the sound. Well, there has, to, there has to be the laugh. The <laughs> <laughs> well, the laugh, sure. You know, and to... That's beautiful. This German um, only has... So he has developed a set of... Um, I like that one. Man, that's creepy. It's, it's fantastic. So depending on the set of Malaysia years, you can get really... That's horror movie material, isn't it? <laughs> what do you think? It's really great. And, you know, you can just really use your imagination and play, yeah. play, play with a gong. Not just to extract the main boom sound. I would love to have this for the neighbors. Yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> it really kind of helps you to zen you. It's a really, really powerful, deep overtones in this. Yeah. Set. Really feel like, you know, very, you know, just very fantastic. Fantastic. So Where are these made? So these are hand hammered in China, but they must be. Hand hammered in China. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you there's really obviously. See but, um, you know, the hammers have banks on the side. And there's obviously no brand name on them. So are, are they a brand, no, though? No, no, we don't brand them. Uh, okay, We just, okay. you know, source them. I like that. You're not going to see okay. Zilligen written no, on them. No, no. So that was not the case with the symbol. And the symbol, you know, <laughs> having, like, made in your hand, made, you yeah, know, made sure yeah, that yeah. It's, it's got really the best Fantastic. Uh, Chinese symbol out there. So and, it's really, really good. And we saw this um, when I... Uh, this uh, Tibetan. A Tibetan balls. It's a hand hammer, those again. So Tibetan the hand hammer. Yeah. Uh, and I love these little things. In the, in the uh, again, it's the same thing for the symbol. Mm. The hand hammer balls have this beautiful, la long lasting tune. Really helps you to, to clarify your mind, it really calms you. Yeah, yeah. Um, recently, I went to visit one of our stores. We have a store in Salzburg. In Austria, and I heard the story. Many, many uh, teachers have <laughs> started to <laughs> use those Tibetan bowls in classes yeah, just to, yeah. help, to help them to calm down the children. Because <laughs> you know, children, you know, yes. bubbles, you know, full with energy. But when teachers need to, to, to get their attention, so they just started kind of uh, having those uh, singing bowls. And, and of course, we have the frogs. <laughs> and we have, of course, the frog. <laughs> Oh, I like that. So we're stored also by doing that. I like that. You bring good fortune. So, uh, oh, is it? It's for so yeah, it's supposed to bring money in. <laughs> so we keep. Right, keep, keep. I like that. This one I like. Good old froggy. 
This shop is so diverse with instruments. You know, you walk into a guitar shop and you get mainly guitars. <laughs> well, yeah. You walk into this shop and you get mainly from every <laughs> like, source where? of the world. It's like, where do we start? <laughs> and of course, really of course, really how could we go without seeing the uh, the fish? <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is so crazy this looking. Is like a, oh, it's like a bow run or something, no? Like a bow oh, an shape. ocean drum. An ocean drum. Wow. If you close your eyes, I feel like I'm in some swimming trunks on the beach. No, that's fantastic. And I said I did um, an art presentation, and part of it I started with the ocean drum, just really transporting me to another place. So yeah, we can save money I have to say this. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> this is something you could just sit at home and you could just put no, all no, day, just you know, move it around. Yeah, basically, yeah. I mean, so not trying to make a good advert on, on Remo, but uh, when people walk in, they immediately like the curiosity, you know, gets awakened, and they feel like I see the sparkle in the eyes. And I feel they become little children. You know, the curiosity we had when yeah. we were little and as we grow up, unfortunately, we tend to lose it. That's uh, true. And so I'm that's so, very, so very happy to, to see that's like, that's what's very, this very and true. what's that? I and all of a sudden you see all you know, these grown-ups yes. you know, having this childlike curiosity in the eyes. And this is really, really priceless thing. Uh, and imagine if all the instruments were made of Lego. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that would definitely bring out the child and everybody, wouldn't so, it? Uh, so really but it wouldn't be very practical. Yeah, really Psychobilly cool. is a mixture of a sort of a punk rock with rockabilly. Oh, goodness. Do you know, do you know rockabilly style music? You know, like 50s music, it's kind of got the double bass. Okay. And it's kind of like swing uh -huh. jazz, let's say, wow. but with a punk style. Right. Now, I would love a band to start and doing that kind of style, punk rock. Yeah, that would be interesting. But you know, as I said, having seen that, I know it's not impossible. And yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, this really is definitely really like, uh, this here definitely is kind of like, this is the new slap bass. And I, ca I know some friends that would love to have a go beautiful. on this, you yeah, know? Oh, yeah. Or but they'll have to, gonna have to come to uh, Plovdiv to try. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> so I think I'm going to go and find um, Pat. <laughs> Good. Fingers crossed he's out there because the sun is out. I think I'm going to try and find Pat because it's a nice day, so maybe it's he's going to be busking. It's a bit wintry, so, you know, fingers it crossed, is a bit he's wintry. wearing his gloves. <laughs> well, I was going to say, even if it wasn't a musical instrument shop and you just had an empty shop with you coming in to chat, I would come in <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it's for a great, conversation by now. This is his uh, beautiful thing. Thank you! Yay! Nice meeting you all. Thank you so and, uh, much for talking. I just hope you make it to Bob if one sunny day. <laughs> for sure. Okay, ah. Uh. Okay, guys, so there you go. What a great shop, full of beautiful instruments, and what a positive, crazy energy that she has. I uh, could speak to her all day about music and uh, musical instruments, so let's go find some more buskers. Right, so Morania told me about this guy named Pat, an Irish bloke, and she said he was busking down here. And uh, I can hear him down here, well he looks like an Irish Pat, and I'm going to say to him that I used to go busking with him in Dublin, and uh, see what he says. It's Pat, isn't it? It is. How's it going? How are you doing? Huh? How are you doing? I'm good. You don't remember me, do you? I know the accent. <laughs> <laughs> From where? I know you, man. Where? Huh? Where? In Dublin. Yeah. I met you in Dublin somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we played a couple of songs together, man. Fuck off. In Busker. I remember. No. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm only joking with you, by the way. Uh, no, I, I do know your name. Uh, There's a girl in there. A Varenia. <laughs> yeah, she's a great friend of mine, yes. And uh, I said, where is he, man? I'll try and get him on I, camera. I, I was up the far side of the stadium. You live here? My wife is from here, so oh, we're in and over yeah, here, yeah. over back all the time. But it's a terrible... I'm here, I'm here for a few months now. You're here for a few months anyway. <laughs>